everyone i welcome you to the last pyq micro analysis video for nabard credit phase 1 for ard agri agriculture and rural development so today we are going to discuss some of the minor topics uh, for the micro analysis so yes uh, so the these minor subjects are agriculture extension agri engineering fisheries forestry ecology and climate change rural development rural population in india panchayati raj institutions and some agriculture agriculture current affairs so yes from these uh, minor subject you can expect around one to two questions and from agriculture current affairs there could be around five to eight mcqs will be there from this current affairs section so yes let's uh, in brief discuss uh, see the syllabus for different minor subjects so under for uh, agriculture extension the focus is on different agriculture teaching methods and kvk for agriculture engineering the focus is on farm and sources of uh, power then there are different harvesting structures water harvesting structures watershed management different agro processing and post harvest technology with including some storage grain storage structures okay so this is a part which is important from agriculture engineering uh, for uh, fisheries there are different terms common terms pertaining to fish production and different uh, classification like fresh water brackish water a uh, few examples then the potadromous anadromous classification so these are the things which are important that uh, that is a common terms and terminologies okay next is uh, the forestry and the forestry again basic concepts definition terminology different concepts like social forestry agroforestry recreation forestry community extension forestry these are the things which became important and the latest forest report 2023 uh, uh, report is released so that become important for the next cycle okay So yes, let's discuss the MCQs or the PYQs from these minor subjects. Okay, this chart is uh, talking about the MCQs from a uh, PYQs from Extension Engineering, Rural Development, and uh, Panchayati Raj Institutions. Okay, so this yellow part is the questions from Extension Teaching Methods, and uh, you can see uh, in the row the method demonstration was asked in the last three years. so yes they will provide the scenario like uh, we are dis- we are giving farmer information about the uh, comparison between the two wheat varieties which one is better the effectiveness of wheat, this is better than this so what type of extension teaching method is this so this there will be scenario based question so you need, you need to have a conceptual understand next is the kvk krishi vigyan kendra is again important the total number of kvk is present in india the committee which uh, was uh, Which formulated this concept again? Uh, there are different so four five facts that became important from K. Okay. Next is ENAM, the financial assistance under ENAM, the uh, year of launch. Then different there are different implementation agencies that there are. The uh, these are the things which became important. Okay. Next is the uh, FRP, MSP, the PSL target. This is a part of economics. You can say. But yes, uh, every year there is a question, direct question. What is MSP of wheat? What is MSP of rice? So yes, the PSL targets uh, for the, the small and marginal farmers, etc. So PSL is again important. Prior to second line, okay. Next, along with MSP, the FRP concept, the role of CACP. These are the things which are important. Next is the uh, engineering. So from engineering, the PTO sharp, the fixed cost, variable cost, okay. Transformer, the uh, which part reduces friction. So these are the basic questions are there from the uh, this engineering part. Okay, and in two thousand and twenty four there was a numerical. Okay, uh, numerical was there from engineering, but you can say you could have solved this numerical uh, in like less than one minute because the calculation was easy and linear. Okay, you just needed to convert this into the conversion factor of seven hundred and fifty. uh that is 1 hp 750 so or uh, 20 into this factor into 100 was your answer so the, the if even if there are numericals they are easy the the calculation will be easy there, there is a no need to worry about okay and the next is a rural development part so rural development and rural population part okay so this question is about the criteria or the classification the basic population that uh, we need to classify area 
as a rule area. So the population should be less than 5,000. Next is the proportion of ruler population, the percentage of countries workforce that reside in the rural area. So these facts uh, regarding the rural areas, the population, the workforce from rural area become important for our examination. So this is uh, next is the fisheries. In 2024, there was no question on fishery. Uh, so if I'm missing anything, please let me know. Next, uh, in 2023, the question and in 2022, the questions were like uh, optimum level of dissolved oxygen that is necessary for fish farming, the optimum level of pH that is needed, different indigenous fish that are generally used for uh, fish farming in India, that is catla, their feeding habits, uh, like is it a surface feeder, is it column feeder or is it bottom feeder. Then there are different exotic fish along with this uh, catla that is catla ruhu and river that is a uh, common carp silver carp likewise the grass carp these are the three carp, carps exotic fishes that you need to have understand then the empire is the organization related to fish production and fish related uh, other things so yes that again becomes important and have a basic understanding on the fish the post harvest management of this fish uh, that is uh, the fish curing is a process of uh, like uh, salting and smoking to increase its shelf life. So these are the things uh, that become important for our examination. Next is forestry. And again in forestry, there are not much question in the last two years, but yes, uh, the questions like the terminologies of classification, like extension forestry, community for forestry, agroforestry, the different classification is there, like agri silvic pastoral, silvic pastoral. So these things are there uh, that are coming in exam from the forestry part, okay? And in 2024, there, there was a question on the Forest Act, okay? So yes, this is the uh, forest. Next important part is the ecology and climate change. We seen right the uh, questions from the forestry and fisheries are, are reducing in the uh, in the last two years. So that um, that questions were replaced by this ecology and climate change part. Okay, so uh, the questions from these parts are like the greenhouse gas, which are the following is not greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas released from the animal respiration. Next, which of the following is a renewable source of energy? Which of the following is a man-made man ecosystem? That is ecosystem and ecology part. Again, the uh, floating weed is a part of aquatic ecosystem. Then the uh, and yes, for the ecology and environment, there is no need to just go and read any book. Discover the things from the uh, current affairs. Yes, the ecosystem and the basic. Uh, ecology part just go and cover it from a book but most of the part will be asked from the current office okay like the net zero target uh year of india the parasitary is again ecology and environment static part next is which of the following is not biodiversity hotspot which of the following is not iocn category so these uh, these were in the news uh, are, are new these are the concepts that are uh, again and again in news uh, but you can see the depth of the question they are asking. So just cover uh, accordingly, okay? And again, this National Action Plan for Climate Change. So we have eight submission under this plan. Uh, and if I'm not wrong, the question was like, which of the following is not one of the submission under this NAPCC? So yes, you need to have understanding on the all. You need to have at least uh, need to know the names of those eight missions, okay? So this is the depth of the question that is coming from the ecology and the climate change. And the last part is the agriculture current affair. Okay. So from the current affairs part, you can expect around more uh, five to eight questions again. Okay. Uh, so this uh, the questions are like the portals, okay. The recent the portals which are released in the last six months become important. And yes, agriculture current affairs, you need to cover at least six months. Okay. There's not much uh, news, but uh, yes, you need to cover for six months and uh, it, it will not be that bulky, okay. So the portals become important. You can see the portals, portals, portals. There are question every year from portal. Next, MSP, I already said MSP for wheat, MSP for lentil, MSP for tour. They're directly asking question. So you need to mug up the MSP numbers for the Karip and Rabi crops. Next uh, is about the uh, GV, okay? Agriculture budget. So or overall budget and economic service is the important part of the agriculture current affairs or the overall current affairs. Okay. So GVA contribution, GDP contribution of agriculture, it's allies, even allied sectors, the uh, livestock uh, sector contribution. Then is yes, again you can see here the GV contribution they are asking. Okay. 
next is about the there are different schemes right so uh, from the schemes uh, the questions are age group uh, that is eligible to take benefit of that uh, scheme then uh, if there is any collaboration of agriculture minister with international organization then you you need to have understanding on what uh, which international organization agriculture ministry is collaborating with then eligibility is the most loveable part of the nava okay so yes eligibility is the most important you need to cover the eligibility for different schemes okay then budgetary allocation is a part of the economic survey and budget next the schemes which are related to uh, there is involvement of namar so acabc then uh, pax digitization then the 100 uh, uh, 10000 fpo scheme these uh, these are the schemes are really important because the namar is involved in those okay next uh, the period of implementation the duration for again which it is being implemented age group again so these are the things which are coming from the schemes okay under which ministry that particular scheme is falling so these are the uh, mcqs which are coming from the schemes okay so let's discuss what you need to cover from the for the agriculture current affairs okay so as i said estimates for horticulture and food grain okay let us uh, advanced estimates you need to have understanding the food grain production the area under production the top commodities uh, under this uh, horticulture production okay then there are different international collaborations and the portals portals is the important part next msp and frp concept uh, the msp for different crops if possible mark up all the numbers for msp the cdcp role and the formulas which we are using to calculate cdcp the government's role in this uh, msp then frp concept and the sap concept for the sugar cane next economic survey and the budget so gva gdp contribution the li uh, the livelihood for the percentage of the population to the percentage of population to which they are, uh, they are providing livelihood then uh, there are different facts and uh, figures right uh, and uh, survey for survey just go and cover the agriculture and rural development part of the survey uh, the, there are different facts or statements they are providing like agri and allied sector contributed this much percentage uh, in the last year so these kind of uh, facts and figures become important for our examination okay next a uh, different budget allocations for a rural ministry for agriculture ministry different schemes then agriculture credit target for allied sectors then new programs if uh, any is released became important okay next important reports and statistic agriculture census latest agriculture sen uh, census the operational holdings and land size uh, so uh, small and marginal farmer uh, we are saying someone as a small and marginal farmer if he owns owns less than a 2 hectare of land so there is a one chart where there uh, the nomenclature and the area the land size size is there so just go and cover that chart okay next is livestock census about the data about the population about the uh, which state is leading in the uh, cattle population and etc then uh, production of milk meat meat the india's ranking then uh, per capita production per, uh, per capita availability etc these are the things which are important okay then india forest report as i said the latest india forest report is released and that become important for the uh, coming cycle okay handloom census is mentioning this labels just go go and cover at least once uh, so we are not left with uh, anything okay then census and scc uh, again is important only that there are around uh, 5 to 10 facts about the rural population and agriculture related facts those are important there is no need to go in much much depths okay so yes next is the uh, scheme wala part okay so there are different important important schemes are there of of agriculture and rural ministry and we already seen in the chart what uh, areas you need to cover so yes schemes is important and the major part next is employment schemes for the rural areas again important the age group for which uh, the employment or the skill uh, course is provided the financial assistance incentive etc will be important next specific uh, next is a state specific agriculture and rural skills different states release different schemes okay so uh, and uh, those uh, in relation to agriculture and rural development again become important okay next the schemes with the nabar involvement are high priority that is uh, bank linkage program 10000 fpos 
tax digitization sc abc schemes water share rido these are the things which where the nabard is personally involved so yes uh, it is of course going to be important for the nabard exam so yes this was it about the overall micro analysis series for phase 1 uh, ard that is agriculture and rural development merit section and with this knowledge you can score more than 20 up to 25 and this is enough this is enough for you to uh, be in the merit list if you are qualified 20 to 25 uh, marks out of 40 in ard so yes uh, i hope this uh, uh, lecture series helped you Uh, thank you so much for watching and best luck for your examination